Hey everyone, today I have Alan's Accutron 2 pellet stove controller on my test bench. Um, Alan sent it to me because he was indicating that even though the igniter indicator shows that the igniter should be on, it was not on his actual furnace and it was not igniting his furnace. So on receiving the controller, it was obvious that the circuit board uh, was badly damaged and the solid state relay for the igniter was burnt up. So I went ahead and uh, completed the repairs on the circuit board and I replaced the solid state relay and I have it functional again. So I have it connected to my tester. Uh, the tester has simulate light bulbs to simulate the igniter, the combustion fan, the auger motor and the uh, convection room fan, the red, the yellow, the blue and no labels there. So I'll go ahead and turn it on and we'll see some of the lights on the tester come on and I'll be able to clearly see that the igniter comes on and then is shut off when I press the off button by the computer. So uh, let's go ahead and press the start button and that will cause the lights on the controller to come on and some on the tester. So there we have it. All four lights are on and they go cycling through and most importantly we see that the igniter light is on and it is also on on the controller so if i go ahead and turn it off that will tell the computer to turn off the igniter and it'll do that yet the low lights will still be on so it just shows that the controller can turn the light off so i'll go ahead and press the off button right now so you see that the igniter light is off and certainly the igniter light went off. If I turn it back on, press the on button. There we have the igniter on and again, the lights indicate that the igniter is turned on. So I'm able to cycle through the fan speeds and I'm able to cycle through the feed rate. All right, so Alan, I want to thank you for sending me your controller for repairs. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I'll be sending that back to you now. Thanks. Bye-bye.